this though. Y'all, <clears throat> I'm back. <laughs> what they say, back with another banger. Somebody's calling me. I don't know who it is. They want to call as soon as I start recording. All right. So, got them good old collard greens with them ham hocks like when I was a kid. Buttermilk cornbread, potato salad, and barbecue ribs, honey. We got to get it in. <laughs> Boy, do I have a lot to tell y'all. <laughs> My life has been bananas since the last time y'all see me on this here YouTube. So, let's start off. I got my water, I'm gonna wet my power because y'all know I love my water. Let's give a shout out to Beware. You see that? That's where I got this shirt from. Y'all ready? Y'all ready? Okay, you ready correctly because black men are everything. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> I got a little wine. It's probably just for decoration. You know, just because y'all get to get on my nerves today. <laughs> yeah, my man and made tropical punch. I don't know what I'm going to actually drink. Probably just the water. Um, so, y'all look. My dad had this in his pantry. And I this love chow chow. So, um, this is Pat Snow Bone Sorghum Meal. So I'm gonna have to look it up. Most likely, he probably bought this when he was out on the road somewhere in the south. But this is the hot one. Ooh, tasty. These greens are already spicy, y'all. I also been baking pecan pies this week, baby. Then baked almost 30 of them, and I sold about 20 of them. The rest was either giving them away or giving them away because <laughs> y'all know i love to give everything away so we gonna munch on that pecan pie later so give me one second all right so i'm back um of course y'all know savannah's kitchen let's let's put her on deck right there <laughs> Savannah's Kitchen, okay? Don't forget now. Um, let's just dig in first, and then I'll just talk a little bit about what's been going on. So, let's give me some of this chow chow. Taste it with my greens and cornbread. Oh, my God, y'all. The smells. Oh, my God. The peppers and delicious. Y'all see that? I'm put that right there. Oh my goodness. <laughs> All right. Okay. So, let's start off with some of these red tips, honey. Look at this. Look at that. I tried. I did a little bit of Sweet Baby Ray's mixed with some, um, do y'all ever be buying the Famous Dave's barbecue sauces? This is the Chipotle. <laughs> you feel my fall off your bones, the bones. Uh, ain't no way. <coughs> Let's get into these rings real quick. So y'all, I'm having some digestive problems. Y'all gonna hear me coughing. I finally got the testing done. They did the endoscopy. 
um, they found a hyaluric hernia, I believe that's how I pronounce that type of hernia, in my esophagus. Oh my God. Throwing up, going through pregnancy. I don't know. But it showed and made a mark on my life. <clears throat> Them grains are so tender. Y'all listen. You gotta get you some Savannah's Kitchen in your life. <laughs> now, I for the most part cater large groups. So you'll very rarely be able to catch me cooking for us. Anything probably smaller than 100, maybe 100. Y'all, y'all, it's so sweet and spicy. It's perfect. So I've been baking all week, y'all. I just boiled me some greens. Put me some reds in the oven. Boiled the stuff in my potato salad while I was baking earlier. So that when I finally got home, I from delivering all them pies and stuff, a sis could have a home cooked meal. Mm, mm, mm. This potato salad. I love using the Yukon Gold potatoes. Mm. What do young people say? It hit different, baby. Mm, mm, mm. You gotta get a little potato salad with them greens, baby. That's a banger. Woo. Somebody blew my sister up. I don't even know who it is. Mm. I just started recording, baby. I ain't even been able to record nothing in over a month. That's why I want to start calling. Mmm. That's some great. Mm. <coughs> I still need the water. What is palette? <clears throat> so yeah. I really don't do bread, y'all. But I'm telling you, if this was, let me think. If this was a uh, um, fried cornbread, oh man. I don't have to eat it. Devil eggs, so y'all normally I'm gonna just do some devil eggs to keep the calories on the potatoes. But these potatoes, you can't go potatoes are just like might not be a good thing, but they're so easy to digest. But it's still a potato and it's still a starch, so go easy. <laughs> So, I mean, was that blow on my phone? Damn. I'm scared to answer, y'all. I've been going through so much. I'm scared to answer. I ain't even look on a lot of y'all. I mean, how does that work? Hallelujah. Y'all just said prayer. Let me get back to the ribs later. Can't really do that much meat. 
if they are so tender. It really isn't bothering me going down. None of this is. <coughs> Boy, do I have a lot to tell y'all. I'm not gonna put it all in here. I don't think I'm just ready to talk about everything. But my niece, y'all wrote notes today, okay? Y'all won't catch me slipping today. My niece, she's an entrepreneur, a youngster. <coughs> just started her. <coughs> Just started her own Presto nail company, y'all, through Etsy. Y'all look up Nani Nails. That's N-A-N-I Nails through Etsy. Her name is Ariana. Tell her I sent you, okay? Tell her Aunt V sent you, okay? Um, I'm not shocked that she wants to be an entrepreneur. Why? Because her favorite person in the world is an entrepreneur. Me, hello, okay? Um, but she's still getting that education, though. <clears throat> and I'm just excited. I'm so excited. Um, also, I have on these waist beads. I'm ready for adjustment, y'all. This is amazing. I have on these waist beads. A good friend of mine, her name is Jorita. She made them for me. They range in, I believe, $10, $20, y'all. If you need her information, just hit me up. Right now, real quick before I start burping crazy, because y'all know I burp a lot, I want to talk about the S word. <clears throat> it's hard for me to say it. It's just unbelievable. It just, it's really hard for me to say it. But I'm going to tell y'all one good time. Suicide. Did y'all hear me say that? Let me whisper it. Suicide. You don't want nobody to hear you say that, right? Unbelievable. You don't even want your children to know it's an option. It's never an option, okay? But guess what? It is a possibility. Baby, don't I know. And um, it has shook me to my core, okay? Recently, I lost my father to suicide. Did you hear that? Suicide. Unbelievable. I know. Shocking. <clears throat> it still is the hardest concept to grasp. I don't think I'll ever get to a point of uh, being okay with it because it's not okay. It is not. And if I could save one family from going through the hurt and pain we had to experience, that's what I want to do. So you gonna help me? Well, let's talk about it a little bit. Let's talk about the things we don't know. I know I didn't know this. 800,000 people globally die by suicide every 365 days. That's once a year. That's every single year. Okay? <sighs> Guess what else? <sighs> Count with me. One, two, three. Somebody just died by suicide in this world just now. 
okay? They say globally, somebody commits suicide every 40 seconds. So by the end of this video, hundreds of people will be that committed suicide. That's unbelievable. Did you know that? I did. I did not. I didn't even know how big it was in my own state. I didn't even know that uh, how common it was in males over 65. My father was 62, okay? <clears throat> Let's talk about health, okay, mental health real quick. Um, it's a game changer. It also can be very devastating for a lot of families. Um, even though, you know, we know the feeble-minded will always be amongst us. We know we're going to have to take good care of our loved ones no matter what, right? But typically, if we want to talk about African-American males, you may not know what all is going on. It might be prevalent. You might see it in their behaviors, what they choose to do with their bodies, substance abuse, anger control problems. You might see it. <laughs> Depression. Did you hear that? Depression. Okay. My father said that word to me back in February. And I was shocked to hear that word come from him. I think it might have been something that he felt comfortable saying after having a conversation with other people about what they're going through. But even when he said it, I don't feel like he related it to himself as much as he thought he did when he told me. Um, but however, you know, his death would not be in vain. We got to talk about it, honey. We got to open up and let it all out and talk about it. Because uh, my father's death has shaken me to the core. I will never be the same Bernice again. That's okay, though, right? Because growth is everything. And, um, I don't believe in staying stagnant anyways. Y'all know I'm here, there. Hey, let's be flexible, okay? Because this world. <laughs> <clears throat> What's promised, okay? One thing, and that's death, okay? And eternal life in heaven if we choose to serve the Lord, okay? So, let's talk about Indiana. Indiana has such a low, low, low amount of health care, mental health care providers, okay? The lowest almost around the country. Is, is that bizarre? Okay, all right. Um, if you live in New York right now, you happen to live in the most healthiest state we have in America. Mentally healthy. Can you believe it? Honey, you talking about empire state of mind. They say the most mentally healthy state is New York. Okay? Now, the least healthiest state is Montana. Montana. <clears throat> They're saying that it's a lot of a lot of unhappy people that live in Montana. The first thing I think of, do you know somebody live in Montana? Because I don't know nobody that live in Montana. Never known anybody to visit Montana. And I'm pretty connected, y'all. Don't be laughing at me. I'm pretty connected. So, suicide is typically something that is very high in, um, give me one second. Okay, y'all, I'm back. Suicide is typically a way of death that we hear commonly in Native Americans and especially Caucasian males, right? So guess what? We're not talking about it in our African-American households. And one day, it might hit your family the way it hit moms, where suicidal ideations were not even present. 
where nobody's ever even said, I'm going to harm myself. Where you don't even know what it looks like because they got up and went to work all the way up until an hour before they decided to leave. They were still around people. They didn't isolate themselves. So I'm here to tell you, <laughs> check on your strong friends, your strong loved ones, the ones that don't call and ask you for nothing. The one that you can always call and count on, right? Mm -hmm. Check on those. Because I'm here to tell you, everybody wants to be acknowledged. Everybody wants to be strong. Everybody wants to be loved, you know. And during this pandemic, honey, <coughs> So many people are totally different than who they were before March 4th. Maybe they'll never be the same again. All I know is black men are everything, okay? And um, they're not perfect. We're not perfect. Humanity is not perfect, right? But we have to find a way to love one another so <clears throat> I have four brothers the only girl did I say that out loud the only girl I know four brothers um three sons I do have a daughter finally she's number four um and um black men are all throughout my life they're everywhere I got cousins I have my father um, uncles, I have black men all around me, friends, um, I'm not married though, so we're not going to have that discussion tonight, yeah, look, yeah, y'all not about to take me there tonight, I'm trying to be positive, sis, <laughs> joking, okay, so, what I want to say is a life without pain is like a wolf in sheep's clothing. Pain is always going to exist. How you decide to deal with it, sis, bro, hey, that's what determines what happens next, right? So trauma, let's talk about trauma, uh, death, uh, eviction, abuse of any sort. They're all traumas, right? How you decide to deal with it determines how your future uh, ends up, right? So we all would love to fight back, right? We want to get even, right? I for an eye, two for two. But God said, vengeance is mine, okay? <laughs> he said that for a reason, because none of us would be here right now. We wouldn't exist. We wouldn't exist. Because everybody will be gone. <clears throat> and I just, uh, I'll save the rest for later. I do. Listen, y'all, I know I'll be wasting food. Don't be talking about me now. So, this is my dad's obituary. That, that was my father. You see him? Okay. Don't, don't look at my nails. Don't be judging me now. Don't be judging my mom. <laughs> Just joking. So, my father uh, took his life on July the 14th, 2020, okay? July will never be the same for me again. That's okay. He did it four days after my baby's birthday. And uh, he looks like I'm so much. It's crazy. <laughs> but in his obituary, of course, you know, we had to lay it out for my dad. We um, I, I didn't, I mean, I didn't have to be like overly acknowledged. It didn't really matter to me because I feel like nothing's going to bring my father back. And I'm the type of person, I believe that you should give somebody their flowers while they're here. And you honor and obey and you'll be blessed so you have a different type of blessing on your life 
you um give me one second okay y'all i uh my cousin when we were in high school she she might have wrote it in this class but she wrote this poem right and i always loved like i was you know i'd be a person like a hype man or whatever like everything she did like girl i love it you know and so uh i had her put that in the obituary you know and i wanted it to be for me because uh it's truly how i feel it's truly how i feel about people period you know there are things in life that people can do that make them hard to love, but when you have the love in God in you, when you have the love of God in you, you can love anybody, do anything. You understand? And so the name of the poem is I Love You, period. Period. Like, I love you, comma, period, dot. Okay? nothing under nothing extra nothing after it okay so this high goes i love you period not periodically not momentarily not for commentary but i love you period through your imperfections and beauties objections and duties and reflections unto me i love you with a period to follow my statement. No room in my heart is vacant. Inside is your containment. I just love you, period. No commas or question symbols. My love is rain pouring in through your windows. If we were counting, I would love you tenfold. I love you, period. Each day, my love is growing. On and on, like a river flowing. A better way of showing is to say, I love you, period. And um, my daddy was a lover. He was a people pleaser. There's not much you couldn't get him to do for you. And I miss him immensely. <clears throat> his voice, <clears throat> his skin, the way he chewed, his response to things, the way he walked, the way he sang, the way he danced, his cooking, um, how he always showed how much how proud he was of me and everything I chose to do. Um, I miss him. Daddy was only 62 to me. He had a lot more life to live. To him, time was up, right? And we tend to not want our loved ones to suffer. And um, but a lot of times we hold on to them for our own selfish reasons. But uh, as I told everybody, I feel like my father prepared me to live without him every day, every single day. And that's 32 years of learning to live without someone. Before he would fix it, he would show me how to do it. Why? Because the next time it happens, he might not be around. Okay. And so um, with that being said, I'm going to touch on that a whole lot more through the rest of this year, next year, and 10 years to come. Because as I said earlier, if I could save one family, one family from that heartache and pain, I intend to. <clears throat> I'm sorry. like my lips dry <laughs> so we're gonna taste 
this butter pecan pie. And I'm gonna let y'all go. Cause baby, time is flying. Time is flying. So like I said, Savannah's Kitchen, baby. Savannah's Kitchen Indie.com. Savannah's underscore kitchen underscore indie. I N D Y on Instagram. And on Facebook, Savannah's Kitchen. And baby, come get us. Come look for us. Support us. We are ready to serve you. Okay? And guess what? It's a secret. Believe me, ask some of my customers. You can taste it. <laughs> so let's taste the pie. Honey, I'm a crust girl. Give me some of that crust. Hmm. Hold on. Let me go slap my mama. I'll be right back. Baby, let me tell you something. Listen. So I told y'all about them pies, right? I literally hand with each individual one myself, okay? With a fork, okay? Because I had to be old school. I want them to come out good. Mm. Y'all listen. Every ingredient I use, you can taste it. The sugar is not overpowering. The vanilla, the salt. So sorry. I'm being selfish. Y'all want a bite? <laughs> it's okay. I'll eat it. <laughs> mm. mm, -hmm. mm, -hmm. mm -hmm, y'all. I'm out of here. I love y'all and be blessed. And baby, listen. You got a lot to live for. Your time is not up. It's not open until God stays it over. Be blessed. Peace out.